in church. Yes. In the prison wall. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. In the hospital. He's working a miracle. Minister O.J. Tipwell and scripture reading Deacon Frank Coleman. Greetings, Sister Anika Tipwell. In that order, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Most excellent Father, God, we come to you today, God. Give me your name, glory, and honor, and praise, God. God, we thank you, amen, for how you watched over our souls, God, all week long, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, God. Thank you for how you just loved on us all week long, God. Thank you for protecting us, God, amen, from this dangerous virus, God. And God, for that, God, we say thank you, God. God, before we go on the fourth on the day, God, we just pray, amen, that you would forgive us for our sins, God. Amen, the sins of omission, God. The sins of commission, God, God. Anything that we've done, God, that was unlike you, God, we pray that you will forgive us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, come into this service on today, God, and have your way, God, in our souls on today, God. God, your people are in need, God. Amen. Whether it be from the back of the church or from the front, God. Amen. Somebody has need of you on today, God. So, Father, we ask that you will stop by, God, right now in the name of Jesus, God. Amen. And that's something I call on us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, have your way in our service on today, God. Rain, God, go spirit down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We give you permission, God. Hallelujah, God, to rain down on our souls on today, God. Move how you want to move, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. And we bless your name right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God bless us. We grow today, God. Hallelujah, God. Give up what you're saying, I would say, God. Hallelujah, God. Use her, God, in a mighty way, God. Speak her up in the name of Jesus, God. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that she will be a covered, amen, by your blood, God, and they're wanting in the name of Jesus. God, continue to look in on our first lady, our pastor, God. Our leader, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Cousin from the burn of the head of the soul of the feet, God. We pray right now, God, that you will repent the script, amen, that they gave out on last week, God. Hallelujah, God. We ask that you will just continue to cover them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Have your way in our soul on today. We're grateful, God, for who you are, God. You are next to God. And we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. face to shine upon us, yes, that thy way may be known upon the earth, yes, thy save, saving help among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Yes, let the people praise thee. Yes, and let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Yes, but I shall judge the people righteously yes, and govern the nations upon the earth. Yes, let the people praise thee, O God. Yes, let the people praise thee. Yes, then all the people on the earth shall yield her increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Amen. God shall bless us, and yes, all the yes. ends of the earth shall Amen. fear him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound.
thank the Lord for you. Uh, thank the Lord for she calling me on yesterday and invited me to come and tell my testimony. Amen. Truly, I've been through the fire. Hey, I've been through the flood. Amen. Hallelujah. It didn't cover my head, though I walk in the midst of trouble. Thou shalt revive me. God has revived me, y'all. He has revived me. He has set me free. Hallelujah. When the enemy thought he had me, God set me free. Free from all hurt and harm. Hallelujah. From all evil. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou shalt revive me. Truly, I've gone through. 1996. I was diagnosed with lupus. Hallelujah. But the devil told me when the doctor diagnosed me with lupus, uh, the devil spoke in my spirit and said, you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. But I thought about the goodness of Jesus uh, and all that he's doing for me. And I said, devil, you can't kill me because I shall live again. If I die, I got the Holy Spirit on the inside of me. I shall rise again. You know, I told the devil, I shall and I shall not die. I shall declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. And went on with my sickness. Hallelujah. During the time. But God kept me. Hallelujah. Doing um my sickness. Sometimes I'll be up and sometimes I'll be down. But I did like Nehemiah. I turned my face to the wall. And I prayed to God. And he heard me. And he delivered me. I just thank the Lord for his deliverance power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever been sick? You can't hardly do nothing for yourself. Hallelujah. You're looking at me. Hallelujah. Thank God for my husband. Thank God for him sticking by my side. Hallelujah. Because men and men will walk off and leave you. Hallelujah. When you get in a shape and you can't do nothing for yourself, huh? they'll walk off and leave you. But mine stood right with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 42 years of marriage. And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you put God first in everything you do, he will bless you. He will lead you. Hallelujah. No mistake about it. God will. He will heal you. He will deliver you. Hallelujah. No matter the battles that you're going through. Hallelujah. The test that the devil come and try to test you. Oh, that's all it is, a test. Huh? But your faith huh, that you have in God huh, will reprove huh, all the sickness uh, will reprove uh, all the hurt and the pain. Uh, hallelujah. Sometimes you have to tell the devil with your issues. Uh, I've been like the woman with the issues for 12 years. Uh, hallelujah. I have to touch uh, Jesus every now and then. Uh, I have to reach down and pull on his garment. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every time I do that, uh, Jesus flow through my body. I have to thank him. I have to praise him. My humble child. Yes, yes, yes. And his birthday coming up on July the 28th. My God, my God. I was on a mission to come here. I had a mission to come and pray and fast. I had a mission to go and put flowers on my son's grave yeah, for his yeah. birthday because I won't be here for his birthday. Yeah. And I just thank the Lord because, you know, God has been good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. I still got to praise. Yes. I still got to praise. I still got to praise yes. on the inside of me. No matter what the enemy come after me and attack me with, I still got to praise. Yes. I still got to praise on the inside of me. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for sustaining Missionary Williams here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I called her and we prayed on the phone. She prayed for me. I was kind of down, but she prayed for me. And when we got to praying, God told me to speak the word. Hallelujah. And I spoke the word to her. And then the next thing I see, Tate Temple was. Hallelujah, you're a go-father. Did you thank her? Hallelujah. 
I've been through the fire and I didn't get burned. to the COVID, we wasn't able to do that this year or even last year. So we have been asked to ask you to receive an offering for the convocation today. Many of you did not go to the convocation. So I'm going to ask you if you will share an offering for the convocation, and I will come back, give you a chance to get it together, and I'll come back after the observations and receive that offering if you have one. Thank you.
Revival services will remain on July the 25th through the 27th, Sunday through Tuesday night at the Worship Center in North Little Rock, Arkansas, via Facebook Live and YouTube at 7 p.m. nightly. Bishop Anderson will be the speaker on Tuesday night. Arkansas Third Jurisdiction Holy Convocation will convene on August the 4th through the 8th at the El Dorado Municipal Auditorium. Our jurisdictional pray move, Bishop Frank Anderson, will be the speaker Friday night, August the 6th. Service time is 7.30 p.m. Bishop Michael Jones, Relate of the Arkansas Third. Yes. Sister Deborah, Deborah Whitaker, our youth, our usher president, would like to meet with all ushers following the service. When you hold the bread and the cup in your hand, you are holding the greatest expression of Lord's love for you. Holy Communion will be administered the first Sunday morning, August the 1st, during morning worship. We also have a card from Sister Ginger Curtis, Lady um, Pastor and First Lady, know that she loves you, she's thinking about you, and she wants to show her deep sympathy and her kind of Amen. Amen. Our inspirational word for today is, life is like a camera, Focus on what is important. Capture the good times. Develop from negatives, and if things don't work out, take another shot. Your photo shoot of his love, grace, mercy will always be your best shot. And have a blessed week. But I'm going to give you another word or thought that has been just ringing in my spirit. And I've been fighting it, but I'm just going to say this little phrase that's been playing over and over, and I want you to take from it what you will. God's confirmation is always on time. It is also a reflection of your faith, your hard work, and your praise. So every time he sends you a little butterfly or a little word of confirmation that you, you rethink and somebody will say something to you and you've been thinking and pondering over something, right? And right. You've been doubting yourself and you haven't had faith in what he's telling you to do, right? So um, I've had some experiences where i doubted my ability yes. or um, yes. what he's given you or he's been he's been working on this word for you right he tells you over and over oh, again no. <laughs> I've given you this and, and why are you not doing it or I, I keep putting it on your shoulder right it feels like a weight right yes. every time you walk away from it something pulls you back right uh -huh. so we have to start listening to that yes. so we have a, a tendency that when he tells us something say, now nah, I'll do that later on I'm not worried about it right, right. or I can't do that. I don't have the capability of doing it. I don't have the skill set to do it. I don't have the finances to do it, right? right. But right when we look the other way, have you ever been somewhere and somebody says a sentence, and you're like, that is literally what God just said to me, right? right. So I, I've had times where I've doubted myself, and I've been in Walmart shopping, and somebody walked up to me and said, hey, um, do you do? And, and I just told my husband, I ain't doing that no more. Like, I'm I ain't gonna do that no more. I'm gonna stop. This is what I for, right? But every time I get ready to put it down, God says, pick it back up. So we have to remember that God's confirmation will always be there for us when we're asking for that word. We just have to be obedient and listen. Amen. 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 Amen.
talking and she was telling me about y'all church and I said I just gotta come to <laughs> right, I, I go to the well I go to Holiness Church down well it's down on over the other side of Walmart not yeah. out in the woods <laughs> but that's uh, my home church but I wanted to come have to listen to her tell about how <laughs> I hadn't seen, I mean, I, we have a wonderful church, and I love my church. Yeah. Family. And, you know, they believe in God, and they believe in the baptism, the Holy Spirit, and everything, but we've been lost a pastor, and we've had lots of problems since yeah. we've had this COVID thing going yeah. on. But uh, I hadn't seen Spirit of God moving like I used to. And uh, I, I'm just, I said, I got to come. We're glad to have you. We invite you to come again. And when you come the second time, you won't be a visitor. If you're part of the family, we just thank God for each of you that are here today. Now, if you that have an offering for the convocation, uh, some I think already put it in their envelopes, but Brother Lonnie will receive it if you just. He's already. Certainly, we want to be a blessing to our holy convocation. We have wonderful, wonderful yeah. spiritual content in the convocation. Amen. We, we, we hope and praying that next year the Lord will bless us to return to the convention center in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Amen. Normally, we would have close to right, 2,000 people on Sunday in the convention center. So you see, uh, for our finance, I'm sure it have fell short this year because of that. Because we didn't have the expense of the convention center. But still there are expenses that goes with the complication. to journey to Elmerita, to the auditorium, to the Mr. Auditorium tonight at the second jurisdiction of this program, and our bishop will be speaking. So let's go to Elmerita. I was thinking it was going to be Monticello, but thank God it's Elmerita. We don't have to go as far. That's what she announced, I think. Elmerita. All right, thank you. Thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you for the gift that has been given. And we pray your choice blessing upon those gifts right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Back in the hands of MC, Ella Johnson. Amen. Amen. Uh, Miss, Miss Wilson, are you, Miss Tony Wilson, your husband? Yes, he is. Okay, well, he's one of my carpenters. Oh, really? Amen. What's your, great guy. Amen. what's your name? We used to work for Pastor William. He sure did. Okay. Amen. We, next we have First Lady Dolores Williams in the presentation of the speaker. And after that, Simone Selection, the praise team. The Doris Williams, I'm sorry. And the presentation of the speaker. Amen. Amen. She comes. Good morning, saints. I want you 
everybody get excited because yeah. y'all want to ask the question are you excited this morning yeah. about the word yeah. come on let's get excited it's word time let me hear you say word time yeah. i am honored this morning proverbs 31 18 say who can find a virgin's woman for her prices is for above rubies in this chapter of proverbs it talks about the characteristics of a proper woman. I speak before the hour identifies with the characteristics in Proverbs. She is trustworthy, respectful, caring, honorable. Her children and her husband praise her. But most of all, she fears God. Missionary Jacqueline Wright is married to the Dickens Philip Wright. She is the mother of two children, Delana Wright, and Justin Wright, and the grandmother of two. Missionary Wright is a member of the Tate Temple Church of God in Christ. Missionary Wright is, not, is an anointed woman of God. I ask that you pray for our speaker and get with her, and please say amen. Don't sit there and fold your arms, because she's going to miss out. Tell her you're going to miss out. I asked, as, um, I'm going to put a little insert in here. She know what I'm talking about. I'm always teasing her. The ones that knew our dad. She always remind me of, of the spirit of our father. So I, I, I always say acting like Deacon Arthur Williams. So but she know what I'm, I had to put that in there, sister. But I thank God for this young lady. She's my biological sister. And I love her dearly. She's a big inspiration in my life. She's not only my sister, she is a great friend. She's someone I can depend on and someone that I truly trust. And I could do some money selection for the choir. I ask that you stand and receive our speaker of the hour, missionary Jacqueline Denise Williams Wright.
morning. We give you honor this morning, God. We give you the praise for your goodness and your mercy for us. Oh, God, we can't thank you enough for how much you have done for us. We thank you for keeping us, oh, God. We thank you for bringing us to this point. Hallelujah. For if it had not been for you, where would we be on today? We thank you for your covering. Hallelujah. Thank you for your protection, oh God. Oh God, as I stand before you on this morning, God, I pray that you would give me a word for your people on this morning. Give me a word of encouragement to someone that is standing in the need to be uplifted. Oh God, I asked you to take Jackie out of the way. And you get in the way. Hallelujah. Anoint me on this morning for your glory, for your honor. And give me the strength to go through on today. God, I'll give you the praise. I'll give you all the glory. And I'll give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise this morning. For his goodness, hallelujah. For his mercy.
Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. This scripture reads, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. That is the King James Version. The NIV Version reads, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Now, the book of Paul, uh, Philippians is a letter of encouragement written by Paul. He reflects on Jesus throughout the entire letter. Paul encourages the people of Philippi to live lives that are obedient to God and that are uplifting to one another. It is believed that Paul wrote this letter while in prison to the church to tell them how he was doing. Paul is encouraging the Philippians by telling them how much he prays for them and is telling them of his confidence in not only in their perseverance, but in their sanctification. Paul's confidence is in God and not his feelings. He has the assurance of his own salvation and theirs. For you see, Paul has seen the Philippian church in action. And he believes them to be the real deal. Anybody here this morning? The real deal. Are you the real deal? Oh God, oh God, oh God, help us to be the real deal. Woo, thank you, Jesus. It's not by their own strength and their will that they will run the race to the end, but it's by the will and the goodness of God. Paul is confident because he trusts God. Do we really trust God? Do you really trust God? Paul was so confident that God would complete the work he started in his life that no matter how difficult his life was as a follower of Jesus, he chose to rejoice. How many rejoice no matter what? We got to rejoice through the good times. Hallelujah. And the bad times as well. Hallelujah. He encouraged the Philippians and all believers that we can continue to serve and obey Christ even when we face difficulties. We have to continue to serve and obey the Lord. It's very important that we have assurance and confidence that God is with us and will be with us until the very end. God will do just as he said he would. He will finish the job. He's going to finish his work. And he's going to finish the changes that we need on the inside. Hallelujah. We are constantly being upgraded. Anybody know anything about upgrading? We are constantly being upgraded by God in our spiritual, mental, emotional, our physical, financially, and in our character. There are no flaws. You can't find anything wrong what God does. There are no imperfections. So we don't need to even look for any. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is getting good to me already. Thank you, Jesus. The work he does. It's good. Yes. It's very good. Yes. God is constantly shaping us, yes. molding us, yes. and transforming. Yes. Hallelujah, our lives. Yes. We believe God for a strong finish. Oh, His work is a guaranteed yes. success. Yes. For you see, God is a faithful God. Yes, he and he will never begin something uh -huh. or anything and not finish it. Right. He's not going to start working mm -hmm. on the inside of me and say, well, I got tired of that one right there. Oh, no. <laughs> mm. yeah. 
and I think I'll move to my next person. But when he starts a work, he's going to keep on working on it. Nor forsake you. So the subject for this morning is to be continued. Can you say to be continued? My God. Thank you, Jesus. In order for something to be continued, it must have a beginning. To continue seems it simply means to be faithful, to carry on. To resume, it needs to maintain. It means you can pick up where you left off. Proceed with an activity or action. It means not to turn back and not to give up. Don't you give up on God. Don't you dare give up on God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It means you're doing something consistently or to persevere. Continuation is a key element, a component in our lives in order for us to accomplish goals or complete tasks. For you see, if you are attending a higher institution of learning beyond high school, this results in more opportunities for advancement and successful careers. For you see, there are also runners who compete for different kinds of races. In order to prepare for this kind of event, conditioning and practicing has to be what? Continued. Mm. No runner wins a race without continuing to the finish line. I can't start out and I stop because I'm not going to make it there. My God. Glory to God. The race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. Doctor appointments must be continued. If you want to stay healthy, you got to continue yeah. your doctor's Amen. appointment. Amen. Taking medication must be continued yes. in order to maintain or improve. Yes. The results for not continuing many things in life could have a devastating effect upon our lives. Yes. It's important that we follow through by continuing what has been started. Now, we have faith to believe that if we continue visiting our doctor and taking the medication, we will get better. But yet, I was thinking about that. When God begins to work within us, sometimes we allow doubt to enter our mind and in our spirit wondering, have I really been changed? Am I the same? Think about it. God does care about our state of mind and our way of living. Because of his word continuing within us, we will no longer be the same. We are changed. Mm. We need his help. We can't do it on our own. Hallelujah. We must say, Lord, make me better. I want to be better. Better in every way. Better in my home. Better in my church. Better in my community. Better on my job. Make me better. Oh, 
you, Jesus.
because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Praise and worship. Let me continue as he is continuing his work in us. For you see, praise invites God's presence into our life. Praise brings victory. Anybody got the victory this morning? And freedom. Praise him for never leaving our side. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise God. Worship gives us a sense of God's presence and companionship. Worship helps cleanse our body and our soul and our spirit. Where are the praisers? Where are the worshipers? Is what God is saying. God, the praisers and the worshipers. Let's not get tired. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Reading and studying and meditating on the Word of God has to be continued. 2 Timothy 2 and 15 says, Study to show thyself. Approved unto God. A workman that needeth not be ashamed. Rightly divided in the Word of truth. Our hope in God must be continued. Our peace must be continued. Colossians 3.15 says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to that to thee, which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. More than anything else, my God, we must continue to live a holy and separated life as we allow God to continue his work in our lives with confidence. For you see, one day, mm, Jesus is coming. He's coming back. And he's going to rule the new heaven and the new earth as the king of kings. Those who believe in him will be rewarded for the lives they live on earth as Christians. But those who reject it, Jesus will be judged and punished for the wicked deeds they did while living on this earth. Mm. We should live each day walking closely with him so we will be ready. Anybody want to be ready? Ready to meet him face to face. God is faithful. God is faithful and he will complete the work in our lives. We can trust him. We can trust everybody, but we can trust God. Watch him work. Watch God work. It's not us, but it's the Christ that there within us. That he continues to do within us that keeps us from falling. He is the God of strength. He's the God of power. He is the God of peace. He is the God of endurance. He's the God of love. He's the God of hope. He is a great God. His good work of goodness and mercy in our lives continues to be with us and will follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Well, it's time for the ending. You know, I used to tell my students, when you write a story, you need a good introduction, a beginning, a middle, and a end. So it's, it's ending time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. As long as we are living, we are candidates for this to be continued, work to be done. With a completion date at the end of our life or when Christ returns. Our story is not a fable. It's not a fairy tale. 
It's not fiction. It's not make believe. Although we sometimes say, I can't believe that this happened to me. And I said that after three medical challenges. I said, I can't believe this happened to me because I'm serving you, God, all that I know how. But God let me know I chose you because you, you can handle it. just name. But we have a true story. It's our successes. It's our failures. It's our decision of what we're going to do in life. It's our relationship with God. Our sequel began the first day of our life. We are the authors of our story. Hallelujah. Before we accepted Christ into our heart, we were in the rough draft stage and the pre-writing stage of our story. Well, this phase was consistent of goals, dreams, and aspirations. It was in the rough draft stage and in the pre-writing stage that things became so difficult yes. so we had to admit to God yes. that I can't do it on my own. I need some help. Yes. So we called on the name of the Lord so our story wouldn't be filled with distress yes. or despair. Yes. So God entered our story yes. and he became the chief editor. Yes. My God, my God, God. He began looking into our story. He started showing us our errors and our mistakes. There were some errors in our speech. There were some errors in our actions. Hallelujah. Where there was a question mark. God put a period. Hallelujah. And he said this is final. Don't ask the question about what you're doing. I put a period. This is what you need to do. It's expectation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the story. The story is continuing. There were too many proper nouns. <laughs> so we had to let go of some people in our life that were a bad influence. <laughs> Hallelujah. There were some more proper nouns there. And there were some places that we had to stop going because without this, with these things in our life, God, he wasn't pleased with it. Hallelujah. Well, it's time for revising. So the revision process, it was very tedious. God was very direct with his expectation. So he deleted he deleted all those mistakes we made and he will not remember him anymore. Hallelujah. There were some things that were necessary to insert so he had to backspace. What? My God. He had to backspace. And include faithfulness and obedience in our transformation. He gave us a chance to rewrite our story. He as he continued to edit along the way. Our leading and directing. We are yet a work in progress. 
to the manuscript. What? The manuscript is complete. What does your spiritual sequel look like? I'm glad God is continuing to work on me. I don't have a perfect story. But my story is not the same as it used to be. This is my story. This is my song. I'm praising my Savior. All the day.
turn up. And Brother David called me this morning, Sister Lucille. His wife wasn't feeling well. And possibly they were gonna have to take her to the emergency room. And Sister Greta Allison. And continue to pray for her and Mother Betty Reed. Amen. So if we don't do anything else, amen. We have enough to pray for. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that we go to always pray. Amen. Prayer. Prayer. That opens in God's heart to us when we pray to Him. Let him know that we need him. We can't do anything without him. Amen. So if you don't mind, just bow your heads where you are. Why don't you just go ahead and stand, and this will be also the benediction of the benediction of prayer. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Dear God in heaven, the one that sits on the throne and watches everything, hears everything, hallelujah, knows all things. God, even before we ask you, you already know the condition of these people, these things that have Set up before you. You already know the conditions. And God, you know what they are requesting. Hallelujah. But God, we want it if it's thy will. Thy will. We know that everything must be done according to your will. Now, God, if it's your will that they be delivered and be set free today. Be healed in their bodies. We know you're able because you rose with all power in heaven and in earth. It's in your hands. God, you made us. You created us. You know every muscle, every tissue, every vein, every vessel. You know where every pain is located. God, we pray now, if it's your will, God, that you would touch it, heal it, deliver it, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, God, we're casting our cares upon you today, for we know that you care, and you said in your holy word, with your stripes, we are healed. We believe the word today. We're standing on your word today. For your word is power. Your word is deliverance. Speak it now. Speak it in the hearts and the minds and the bodies of those that need that special touch today. Now God touches all. As we stand in your presence. Bless us all, God. As we stand in your presence. Hallelujah. Now, God, as we prepare to leave this place, but not your presence, assign an angel to each and every automobile. Hallelujah. Bless us to reach our different destinations safe and return us the same. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come on, tell him, thank you. Tell God, thank you. Tell God, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God. Be blessed, be delivered, and be set free. God bless you.
God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.